In this video, we're going to be giving you our top reasons why we live in Roseville. That's right. Today, we're talking all about the top reasons that we chose Roseville. We've lived in Roseville for about five years now, and we're going to give you some of the good and some of the bad of what it's been like since we've moved here. Now, while our top reasons may be different from yours, this should still help you while making a decision if moving to Roseville is right for you. What's up everyone? Welcome to our channel or welcome back to our channel. We're Lance and Lauren with L2 Home Group and on this channel we talk all about what it's like living in Sacramento and the surrounding areas. So if that's something that you're interested in, then go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button. We're dropping new videos every week on what it's like living in Sacramento. On top of making these videos, we are also licensed real estate agents, which means that as much as we love making these videos, we love helping you more with all of your real estate needs. We're the ones that answer those calls, texts, and emails. So if there are any questions that you have about Roseville or the greater Sacramento area in regards to your real estate needs, we'd love to help you out. All right, let's get to it. Today, we're talking about Roseville and some of our top reasons to live here. Before we get into the reasons to live in Roseville, we'll give you a quick overview of the city and where it's located in relation to Sacramento. Roseville is located about 20 to 25 minutes northeast of Sacramento, right off of Interstate 80, and is located in Placer County. This is the largest city in Placer County and is probably the next biggest city compared to Sacramento. The city spans across three zip codes, which are 95678, also known as Central Roseville, 95661 East Roseville and 95747 known as West Roseville. Central Roseville is where you'll find the mall and many retail stores, as well as a ton of restaurants. East Roseville is primarily made up of established neighborhoods and has some of the highest rated schools in the area. Last but not least, there's West Roseville. West Roseville is the up and coming area of Roseville that offers a ton of new construction. You can find some established neighborhoods in this side of town. However, there is a ton of new construction going on, specifically in West Park. So one of the first reasons why we love Roseville is the community and it can be a great place for families. The city puts on so many fun events throughout the year and it always seems like there's something fun to do with the kiddos, which is helpful to get out and to meet other families in the area. I remember the first house that we moved to in Roseville, which was in Diamond Oaks and it happened right before the 4th of July. We were cooking some burgers outside, playing in the pool with some friends and family that were over. When it ended up getting dark, we had an awesome view of the fireworks show from the Placer County Fairgrounds that we didn't even know we could see from the neighborhood. During the holidays, they also have a ton of events at the town square on Vernon Street. The local fire departments do Santa parades where Santa goes through the neighborhoods on a fire truck decorated in Christmas lights, throwing out candy canes to the kids. One of my favorite things that the city puts on each year is the wine and beer tasting events that's at the town square on Vernon Street. Mainly during the summer months, they have some local breweries and wineries from around the area come out. They also do Friday night flicks where you can bring some lawn chairs and watch a movie in the town square right on Vernon Street as well. The city also puts on an annual turkey trot race during Thanksgiving where residents come out and they do a 5k which raises money for local charities. Next up on our list of reasons to live in Roseville are the parks. This city has so many awesome parks from large mega parks to smaller parks built into most of the developments to awesome dog parks to splash pads. Roseville has over 70 parks across the city, so regardless of what area in Roseville you live in, there's sure to be a park close by. If you have a younger family and are looking for a great place to wear your kiddos out, Roseville has awesome parks all over the city. When my girls were younger, I remember taking them to the park that was right in our neighborhood. They loved our outings to the park and would beg me to take them there all of the time. It probably didn't help that they could see the park from the front windows of our home. And that's probably why the park was always front of mind for them. Man, they loved playing there and they would be entertained for hours. The plus to having a park super close by and in your neighborhood makes it so easy to head to the park with your kids, even if it's only for 20 minutes. Roseville also has many amazing mega parks. These parks are not your average park. They have everything from play sets to soccer fields, baseball fields, splash pads, a skate park, batting cages, and turf fields. These mega parks are Maidu, Harry Crab, and Mahaney. Maidu Park is located in East Roseville near Oakmont High School and the main Kaiser Hospital. This park has an awesome play structure that's themed after the Old West with a general store, a jail, and a maze. Maidu also has a ton of soccer fields, baseball fields, batting cages, and a skate park. We've spent many Saturdays at Maidu cheering my girls on in their local rec soccer leagues. Another great park is Mahaney Park, located in West Roseville near Wood Creek High School and the Summer Sanders Pool. This mega park has so many different things to offer. It has two playground areas, one specifically for toddlers and one for older kids. The toddler play structure has little wooden gates around it, so you don't have to worry about your toddler running off. 
which is great and helps keep the little safe while they're playing. The play structure for older kids has an awesome climbing structure that towers into the sky. My girls loved climbing this structure when they were little. It also has a very large play area with slides, swings, and different climbing areas. Another great thing about Mahaney is it has so many different fields for multiple sports. They have an all season turf soccer field, which can also be doubled as a football field. One awesome thing about this turf field is that there are many adult and youth soccer leagues and flag football leagues that play here. On Saturdays, you can find a local farmer's market in the parking lot. We love heading over to the farmer's market to pick up fresh fruits and veggies that are in season. As you can see, Mahaney has something for everyone. The next mega park in Roseville that you have to check out is the newer Harry Crab Park located off of Scarborough Drive. This park has an awesome play structure with cool climbing ropes. If your kids love to climb, this is the park to go to. They also have a cool teeter-totter on this playground that my daughters absolutely loved. If you come here during the summer months, they have an awesome splash pad with a giant crab that kids can walk under and that shoots out water everywhere. It's a great place to take your kids to cool off during these hot summer days. Harry Crab Park also has sand volleyball courts where you can jump into a fun game of sand volleyball. They have many softball fields, soccer fields, a bocce ball court, horseshoe pits, and a large picnic area. So if you're looking to host an outdoor event, such as a birthday party or a fun gathering, Harry Crab Park is a great place to be. While Roseville has these awesome parks, you can also usually find smaller family parks close by built into almost every neighborhood. This is one of the reasons why we love living here. Every Roseville neighborhood we've lived in over the years has had a great park within walking distance. Moving along to reason number three to live in Roseville is the schools. Roseville has great schools from the elementary schools all the way to the high schools. The elementary schools rate anywhere from a seven out of 10 to a 10 out of 10. Roseville is so large, it has four high schools. The high schools are Roseville High School, Wood Creek, Oakmont, and West Park. West Park being the newest school that was just recently opened last year. This high school has a more modern look and feel. Oakmont High School offers the prestigious IB program for students looking to get a more in-depth education and the IB diploma. Roseville High Schools rank anywhere from a seven to a nine out of 10. One of the things that we loved about Roseville was that the public education was higher than normal for the area and the state. You don't have to feel like you need to send your kids to private schools because they're getting a good education with the public school district. With the city having a large number of high schools, there's a good chance that the high school you are zoned for is a short walk or less than a 10 minute drive from your home, which makes getting your kids to school easy when the schools are close by. Another reason why we love Roseville is that it's convenient and you can pretty much have everything that you need right here. You've heard us say it before that Roseville is considered a regional shopping destination, which is true. Roseville has the second largest shopping mall in Northern California with over 200 stores. But the one thing that I loved about Roseville is that you don't have to venture too far to find whatever you need. At the intersection of Galleria and East Roseville Parkway, you have the Westfield Galleria Mall on one corner, the fountains across the street from that, and then on the other two corners, you have a variety of different stores and restaurants, and on the other side of the freeway, you have access to Costco. If you need to run a bunch of errands or you want to grab food, it's pretty much easy to bounce all around to these different areas and get all of that done. When we first moved to Roseville, we lived in Diamond Oaks, which is just one of the main neighborhoods in central Roseville. And the awesome thing was that we could walk to all the restaurants in the fountains or during the summer months, they do summer sips and sounds that are sponsored by the Placer Wine and Ale Trail, where you can listen to some local music and enjoy some drinks. They also do big events during the first Saturday of the month and throughout the summertime where they have multiple vendors and music. Every Tuesday, they have an awesome farmer's market and some of our favorite restaurants are located here as well as Makuni Sushi or Zocalo's. Moving on to reason number five of top reasons to live in Roseville, California is the weather here. We do have actual seasons. In the winter months, it can get cold, but nothing too crazy. Our lows in the winter usually get into the mid thirties at night and into the high forties and low fifties. We do get rain in the winter months where it will rain off and on, but the sun does usually break through between storms. So it's not always blooming out in the winter months. During the summer months, we do get heat. It can get into the triple digits with a few days over a hundred. On these days, we like to go to one of the lakes nearby to cool off as a family. We enjoy going to Folsom Lake and Lake Natoma. Both of those lakes are just a short car drive. Honestly, it takes longer to load the car with all of your lake stuff than it actually does to drive there. Next, we're talking about one of my favorite things, which is golf. There are a ton of awesome courses located in Roseville and within the city limits, you have so many amazing public courses to choose from. Within those limits, you have Wood Creek Oaks, Timber Creek, Sierra Pines, 
Diamond Oaks, and Morgan Creek. And you even have the option of a private country club, which is called Sierra View. Whether you're looking for a beginner course, an advanced course, or even a private course, Roseville will definitely have a course that you'll love. Now, I've only been playing for five years or so, but I have personally played all these courses, and I definitely recommend that each one of these courses gets put on your list to visit. Now, I do cover these courses in a golf video here, but one of my favorite is Morgan Creek. Morgan Creek Golf Club is located out in West Roseville, and it's also part of the Morgan Creek community. This course can definitely be a little bit more challenging than some of the other courses in the area, but the views are awesome and the homes are pretty sweet as well. Morgan Creek Golf sits within a gated community and a majority of these homes are going to be custom homes on probably 2,500 square feet or more on large lots with amazing views of the golf course and the nature around. Reason number seven of top reasons to live in Roseville, California is the utilities in the city are cheaper than that of the surrounding cities. Roseville has its own municipality with the city of Roseville and is serviced by Roseville Electric. The average utility bill, according to the city of Roseville's website, is $112 per month. The reason this makes the list for top reasons to live in Roseville is because this is significantly cheaper than the cost of utilities in any of the surrounding cities. Reason number eight, Roseville has its own water park, Golfland Sunsplash. This awesome water park has over 30 water attractions and they keep adding more every few years. Our family loves going to Sunsplash during the hot summer months. It's not crazy expensive and it's a great way to cool off. Sunsplash also has mini golf, laser tag, a big arcade, and go-karts. It's a great place to spend the day together as a family. Our kids love it when we go to Sunsplash for the day or even for night slides. Last summer, we did a video on Sunsplash when we went as a family and you can check out that video here. Reason number nine is the food. Like I said earlier, Roseville is super convenient, so you don't have to venture too far out if you want to find some awesome food. We have many of the chain restaurants like Cheesecake Factory, Olive Garden, BJ's, Fats, and P.F. Chang's, but we also have great locally owned restaurants that people will specifically travel back to Sacramento just because they miss the food so much. One of our favorites is Makuni Sushi. This is the best sushi in all of Sacramento. It always tastes delicious, and it's usually a regular place that we go for date night, or if one of our family members is having a birthday. We even have some friends that moved to Texas about six years ago, and they still talk about Makuni Sushi, or they wanna check it out every time they come back into town. Ruin Thai is also an awesome Thai food restaurant, or if you're looking for a Michelin star rated restaurant, you have to check out Nick's Taco. We love Nick's Taco and all the unique different tacos that they have to offer. In Roseville, you can find so many different types of awesome restaurants. Our last reason, reason number 10, is the downtown Roseville area. This area has been in the process of being rebuilt and has so much new life that has come to it. They built a few new apartment buildings as well as restored some of the old buildings, bringing back some of downtown Roseville's old charm. There's a mix of restaurants, coffee shops, and some local bars. One of our favorite places in downtown Roseville is Four Score Coffee. This little locally owned coffee shop has a great vibe, offers a great cup of coffee, and is a great place to work out of if you're looking to work remotely. Downtown Roseville also has Vernon Square, like we said earlier, where they do many awesome events throughout the year. You can learn more about upcoming events happening in downtown Roseville at GoDowntownRoseville.com. So if you're looking for more information on Roseville or if you're thinking about moving to the area, then reach out to us. We can get to know exactly what you're looking for and help you decide if Roseville is the right place for you and your family or if there's somewhere else that you just don't know about yet. So remember, we are licensed real estate agents, which means as much as we love making these videos, we love helping you out more with your real estate needs. There should be a number popping up. We are the ones that answer those calls, texts, and emails. So if there are any questions you have about Roseville or the greater Sacramento area in regards to your real estate needs, we would love to help you guys out.